Once upon a time, we'd all like to go back to the age of myths and legends. There are numerous castles in northern Croatia where the romantic past comes to life. Veliki Tabor is one of the best known. It was built in the early 16th century. Today it's a museum and part of a national cultural heritage. It was built by the aristocratic family Ratkaj. The Ratkais lived in Veliki Tabor until the family died out in the late 18th century. Juraj Ratkaj, a clergyman from Zagreb, was one of its most distinguished members. He published a book on the history of Croatians in the 17th century. In the old days, the inner courtyard was brimming with life. It echoed with the sounds of wooden carts, hooves and watchmen. In ancient times, the town was threatened by enemies from all directions. It was protected by a ring of fortifications. Nadica Agarčec, the manager of the castle, explains what is preserved in the castle. The most interesting findings are Renaissance seals discovered in archaeological excavations near Tabor. That will help reconstruct the Renaissance furnace. There are also weapons, tools, dishes, pottery, findings that reveal everyday life in old Tabor. Foreign tourists stop by on their way to the Adriatic coast. We are proud of the great number of visitors. They recognize the cultural and historical value of Veliki Tabor. The castle has its own tragic love heroes. There is a tale about the love between the peasant woman Veronica and the nobleman Frederick. Class differences made their marriage impossible. Count Herman II, Frederick's father, ordered Veronica to be killed. The legend said she was drowned in a barrel inside the castle. Another version claims that her body was built into the castle walls. Some say that the girl spirit can be seen wandering around the castle. Apart from the legends, the spirit of the castle comes to life with a joust that takes place every year. You can see Renaissance knights, craftsmen and ladies. Imagination brings them all together. Witches, noblemen, court jesters and intriguers.